book of Job, he, we're going to talk about mounts, how to secure panels to whatever surface you're going to want to secure them to. Uh, there are 901 million different brands of railings and, and fasteners and clamps and tie downs and uh, sliders and shingle clamps and all kinds of stuff. And it would take me nine years to get through all of it. But I'm going to go through three major uh, commercially available and then one very ghetto and cheap uh, non OSHA certified or insurable option. Um, First, we have this guy. Well, you know what? These, kind of, these guys are kind of the, the same thing, and they can work together, but they are both super hardcore uh, hurricane and tornado rated type uh, situations. This guy um, is two pieces. There's only uh, one bolt in this one. Obviously, there's adjustability up and down. If you've got curves in your in your roof or surface or whatever you're trying to uh, mount it to, you can get up and down on, that's the first uh, adjustableness, I guess, if you will. As we get into it, you'll see there's a lot of options to go back and forth and up and down and makes it easier to mount so you don't have to be so precise and exact with your measurements. That's why these railings have been so popular because you can slide stuff back and forth and get everything tight together all at once instead of having to, you know, measure and then put a bolt one place and then put another panel on. Like the technology these days is a little bit more user friendly. Um, you can use these guys uh, real quick. Every one of the bolts that you're going to see in every one of these things are, are either a half inch or you can use a 13. I wouldn't suggest it, but they're, they're all half inch uh, bolts uh, just to make your life easier. Okay, so this one you can use standalone on its own. It's only got one, one uh, bolt. That would be your contact point. This would be going through your roof. Um, they make huge, big bolts for that. Uh, that you know, you can use any kind of size, any sort of bushing on the bottom, you know, depending on if you have access to the roof below or not, depends on what kind of, uh, what do they call those, expansion nuts that suck up from the other side and have a, a rubber seal. Um, if you don't have access to the uh, uh, the other side of whatever service, uh, surface that you're trying to mount these to, this guy's just a rubber rubber cap for that. You know, it's, it's already a countersunk bolt, but just for weather because that would be your contact point in, on the roof. That's just another added layer of, of weatherproofing, so water can't get down in there. Um, but like I said, you can use that standalone, or we've got, uh, these are, i um, not sure what the technical term for these. These are a couple of um, what they're calling quick mount PV options. So they're for shingles. These guys slide up. Don't pay attention to these. These are just mounting brackets that I had for, or that we've got for the shelf over there so we can hang them up. But this, this actually is what goes on to the roof. Now this slides up underneath the shingle, and I'll show you this over here in a minute. I'm going to take the camera and go over there and show you. But like this, this block right here would be equivalent to what this guy is. So this is what slips up underneath the, the, the shingle, and nothing tacks up down here. It's just up underneath to keep water and everything going down. And then you have your one contact point here. You know this wouldn't be here. This hole would just be available for that. And it comes in all kinds of different sizes and, and shapes and whatnot. And they've got different connectors and, and whatnot. But this is uh, what you would do if you, <coughs> excuse me, if you uh, wanted a little bit more stability and uh, didn't want to, uh, have to have to run a rail all the way across. Like these, these guys allow you to do one little section of a rail like this and mount a panel and not have a whole like 15 feet long of rail. You can just do individual little pads and individual, these are for like customizing on, on like a valley that was going one way and they need to go up so you can't uh, you know, necessarily run a straight uh, rail. And, and sometimes they go the other way, you know, the rails, say this was a solar panel, they don't always go this way, you know, they go this way too a lot of the times. And, and keep in mind, most of these are for residential style surfaces, not that you can't use them on, on a bus or RV or something else, because that's what I have. They're not as hardcore as these, but mounts on my bus are way, way overkill for the bus, but they're not going anywhere. Um, so these are the, those quick connect, like shingle leaf inserts, I guess, if you will. They all have the, a, a, a mounting bolt or, or hole or a threads or bolt or clamp of some sort. Like I said in the beginning, these are all options from one or two manufacturers and every single brand name of solar panel out there has its own, you know, customized thing to work with their panels, but then there's also brands that are, are universally trying to make things that will work for more than one brand of panel. That's smart in my opinion. Anyway, so this guy was, was first. You can use this as your own. You can, uh, this little valley channel thing here that you're looking at is uh, a technology that is also universal. These guys won't fit, but the same exact thing as this, only smaller, 
will slide right into there and, they, and it, it goes up in and won't come out or there'll be a bolt that goes down through it and the bolt head is actually what slides through there and, and, and clamps down. But I don't have, uh, the, the way that we have these set up in the store, we don't have the size of, of the universal clamp mounts. We do on, uh, on a different rail, just not for this rail because the way we have this set up here, I'm gonna show you, this is actually the foot part of this. This is not exactly a, a rail system on its own because it doesn't mount to the to the surface of the of the of the roof. This is uh, designed to go on a different uh, on top of another rail that's already mounted to the roof. This guy is about as hardcore as you can get. I don't know. I have never personally seen anything better. You know, I, I uh, not saying that there's not. I just haven't seen it. But like, picture this on your roof. Uh, you know, this one, well, your roof's going up. Well, I'm going to show you over there real quick, actually. It's too stupid to try to do it with my hands. I just wanted to show you how these slide together. This thing's actually on a spring. If you can see that, there's a spring in the middle there. So that's like cushion, air cushion ride or whatever you want to call it once we get them all mounted up there. But this goes to the roof. It's got that channel in there. That channel is perfect for these bolts to, to slide right in there. If I can get it to turn around and not be. So these bolts will slide right in there. And then the panels will actually go up on top of here. This, these little lips, these little T-lips things will go over the side of the panel. These, these rails will run this way. And then this one's for one panel and this one's for the next panel. The panels will, will join right in here. I know it's hard to envision until I go over there, but that's what happens. And then you've got your, or that's how they go together. And then you clamp this down. And this is actually holding two different panels at the same time, right next to each other, just on the edge. And actually, these uh, <clears throat> these channels down here interlock. So when I go over there and show you this this side will lock down into this channel, and so these are actually interlocked themselves, and then they're bolted to the rail, and the rail's bolted to a foot, and then the foot is either straight into the roof or into one of those those pads, those shingle pads. And so that's pretty hardcore. Like uh, you know, that's going to be, and, and that's also going to be way up off your roof too, if you think about it. Panels sit up here. You know, that's four or five inches, and you also have. Uh, adjustability if you want to go higher you know these these, these are definitely customizable are going to make your life easier if you've got a whole bunch of obstacles to go over or around or whatever but they are going to cost you a lot and and they're kind of heavy you know I mean that's all aluminum but uh, you, the more railing you get the definitely the more weight that's going to be up there so that's super hardcore we're going to go down to the medium which you already kind of saw these are also aluminum these are easy easy to cut with the hacksaw I cut that one um, and they are pretty universal. You can mount them two different ways. You can use this as your mounting channel, or you can mount it this way and use this as your panel mounting channel. <clears throat> I believe the way that we have them set up over here, and now the way I'm going to show you, is using it this way. So this is the side that goes down towards your roof, and that will actually use uh, these C-clamp, these uh, wing nut c -clamp. I'll show you them. They're made for the riveted metal roofing, and, and that's what's over there. So how these guys work is they've got, the, you know, you put your one big long panel on it, depending on how many uh, solar panels you have, and then these guys just slide right into those grooves. That's what they're designed for. They come up on here. Each one of these has a, like a little T-lip that goes on both sides, so one panel would butt up to here, another panel would butt up to here. You can put two, three, four of these per panel, however many you want, you, you know, however safe you want to feel, and then that's just a, a tightening down. It's got a, uh, uh, the spring in there to get a little bit of cushion once it's all up there, a little bit of wiggle room and, and wind and whatnot. Um, but these are definitely kind of a, a, a middle ground. Yeah, they're pretty hardcore. That's, that's that definitely solid aluminum. Um, they're not going to have as many contact points with the panel. You know, this goes up the entire length of it. You know, these are only little tiny clamps that are going to go apart from each other instead of, of, of the whole length or having a much bigger section. You know, even if it wasn't the whole length, these guys would uh, be a bigger section. So that those, they're just enough different way. Like if you want to mount it the other way, I do believe that these will universally fit both ways. Uh, if I can get it into the right groove, yeah. There you go. But they go both ways, you know, and just depending on the roof, how many, uh, or how the curve, or if there's no curve. That's why these are uh, probably one of the more popular um, for residential or even a little off-grid greenhouse type projects. They're cheap, they're easy, you can, you can make them the size that you want, and, and they work. You know, it's not like you need those hurricane proof brackets, you know, all the time, or on a bus or anything. Okay, so which brings us down to... The, definitely the most economical, definitely the most popular, and definitely the most widely used. They don't look like much, that's because they are. Uh, you don't need a whole lot of anything to, to, uh, to use them. Say this is your mounting bracket, I didn't have any yet, or your roof or, or whatever. Say this cardboard is actually your roof. 
you would uh, take some cheap wood or iron or whatever you can find and then just literally make your own rail you know it's not going to be aluminum or whatever but uh, these guys will literally mount right on to uh, to, the, to this like your panels will go here there's two two screws there and 